Hello, my name is Austin Pion. I am a front-end web developer. I'm going to do a quick tutorial about using Grunt. This is going to be hopefully pretty quick, um, hopefully just pretty easy to just kind of give a visual of how setting up Grunt and the workflow, how that would look in the first few minutes of a project. Uh, this talk will pretty much be derived from Chris Coyer's article called Grunt for people who think things like Grunt are weird and hard. <laughs> pretty long article but it's great nonetheless I advise you to check it out if you want to see just a written version of pretty much what all I'm gonna do um, and it, it will be in the notes so I'm just gonna go through quickly how to set this up I'm gonna assume you're familiar with the command line um, and that you have Node.js running on your computer so to get started here I'm at the grunt.js website we're gonna install the grunt command line with this uh, command right here. I'm um, going to install it globally. So you just need to do this once if you haven't done it already on your computer from anywhere on your terminal. I've already done it so I'm not going to go through there. I'm going to go down um, on this page and it talks about the two files that we need to make a uh, grunt project work. The first is a package.json where we're going to list our dependencies and the second one is a grunt file.js this is where our actual logic is going to go. So let's go to Sublime and check out our package.json. I'm using a boilerplate right here. It's just a personal boilerplate. You can find it on GitHub. Sorry, boilerplate. <laughs> I said that quite weird. Um, you can get this on GitHub. This is just my personal boil boilerplate. I have called it Vantage. It's pretty easy. It just comes with CSS, image, and JS directory and the grunt file and package.json that I'm going to use in this video come included in it as well. Um, so just so you know where I'm getting these files from. So here I'm in Sublime and we're going to look at our package.json first. So most of you should be familiar with package.json. All we're really doing is calling our dev dependencies right here and this is what um, NPM or the node package manager will use to know what to download when we do our command in a few seconds. So what we're downloading here is Grunt itself. We're going to do that locally because that's the best practice to install Grunt in your local project. So you can use different versions, and you yeah you end up avoiding all this bad mess with version differences. Um, and we're going to install our different plugins that we want to use. I personally use these five most often, and that's why I've included them. There are thousands of different Grunt plugins uh, that are at your disposal. You just include them here in the dev dependencies and configure them a little bit in the grunt uh, file.js and they will work. I use these five, concatenation, CSS minification, SAS compiling, uglification, and the watch command, which I will go into a little detail about. So what you do inside the dev dependencies object, you just list these. It's, uh, you know, JSON obviously, and you... Um, call out the certain version number that you want to work with. So once you have that, you can go to your terminal. Right now I'm in a um, my root, the root of my project fo folder, and that folder is called grunt-tutorial. And all I'm going to type in is npm install. Most of you are probably familiar with this. All npm install is doing is reading our package.json file reading those dependencies and downloading those dependencies from their respective sources so that we can use them in our project and it downloads them into a node underscore modules directory which we can see over here so this will take a few seconds alright we are done so I'm going to clear that so now all of our dependencies are here in our node underscore modules directory we have our grunt we have all of our gr different grunt plugins that we want to use Great, so now these are all at our disposal, and that's pretty wonderful. I love Node Package Manager. So now I've opened up gruntfile.js, and you can read Chris Coyer's uh, article for a little bit more in-depth explanation about what these, all these things are. Well, pretty much what it is is this module.export method, and we're uh, passing in the uh, grunt as a, we're injecting that as a dependency of this function. And we're running this init config method at first. Actually, I, I think it doesn't matter what what order you do it in, um, as opposed to these down here. But we're just going to go through this first. And you just call out um, 
what your package.json or whatever equivalent file that is right here with this grunt.file.readjson method. Um, this is an object, so this is an object literal notation. So under that, you're going to call out your different tasks. So I have these five tasks, concatenation, uglification, SAS compiling, CSS minification, and watch. And it's pretty easy. Um, each of these plugins have different documentation for exactly how to set it up. I recommend just searching um, in on the Grunt website. On the top, they have a plugin section. And here you can kind of browse through all the thousands of plugins that they have at your disposal. Great stuff. If you use less instead of SAS, they got that. They have Auto Prefixer. They have CoffeeScript. They have so much stuff. Great stuff. I just use these five. And each of them have kind of different syntax when it comes to configuration. But you can have a look at it in more in depth either on my Vantage GitHub project or um, on Chris Coyer's article. But pretty much essentially for these, like for this concatenation, I'm just calling two sources, JS slash plugin and JS slash main. And I want to concatenate them into one, this destination file in a production directory, which we don't have yet. But it's, the cool thing is that Grunt will make this when you first run it. And there's going to be an app.js file in that production folder. Same with uglification. Um, we're just specifying a source, which is our production slash app.js, and a destination, which we're minifying and we're um, uglifying it. Um, so that's going to be app.min.js in the production directory. In SAS, this SAS um, object literal, um, all of these are just kind of configuring each task. So I have some options here. This is some style, compressed, um, and the files. This first file is what you want your output file to be named, and the second file is the actual name of your SAS file. Pretty easy. So what that will do is just compile style.scss into style.css. Then we have CSS minification under that, which just takes an array of these files, which will be our source files and production slash app.js will be the destination file. So they'll just combine these two into one production slash app.css app file. Under that we have watch, which is pretty much the activator for all of these. It watches your scripts and your CSS files for changes and it calls certain tasks that are relative to those changes. So here I specify when these files change, so when any file with the .js ending in my JS directory, that asterisk means all. It's kind of like a almost like a variable or a placeholder. So it's just, this is saying whenever any file with a JS ending in the JS uh, directory changes, I want you to run these tasks, concatenation and uglify. And same here with CSS. Um, when these files, any file that ends in .scss in the CSS directory, whenever those, whenever those change, run these tasks. Run the SAS task and the CSS minification task, which we just went through before here. So that, uh, that ends the config method. It's called actually init config. Under that, we're, do we uh, load the tasks that we have as dependencies. So we just go through and we load each one. So as you can see, grunt dash contrib dash con concat and yada yada, all those same dependencies. We have to load each one so that grunt knows how to use it. At the bottom, we register them. So here we have listed them out in an array. And um, as a second argument, the first argument is default. So this means that when we run the grunt command, all of these will run. It'll check, you know, for watch, it'll check if these files have been changed, and all of these, it'll do the appropriate concatenation, uglification, and compiling that we have programmed it to do. So it's all up and running once you have these things. I'll just give you a quick little demo. I'll open my uh, style.scss folder, and I'll open my style.css, which will be the outputted um, this is just boilerplate, so don't mind that. And we're going to go down to our terminal, and still in our project folder, we are just going to run grunt. It's as easy as that, and it'll just take a few seconds to load up. And once it does, it'll run our concat uh, task, it'll run our uglify task, and it will run our SAS compiler. 
and our CSS minification. And then it will run watch, which is watching for any changes. So you can see a production directory was made with all of our certain uh, outputs that we had specified in the grunt file.js. So I'll just do a random CSS declaration uh, width equals 500 pixels and I'll do something um, some SAS syntax so I'll do anything with an ID of icon will um, have a position of fixed for whatever so we did save and if we just click the style CSS again to reload it you can see that there our SAS is working um, in our production, also our minification is working for our CSS as well. There's our container and container icon, and it's uh, it's been concatenated with these other reset styles I also have. Um, same with our app.js. Um, it has been minified, and it has also been uglified. So that's kind of just a quick walkthrough. It's a really powerful tool. You can do all these menial tasks just kind of in the background as you make your project like concatenation and uglification and all these best practices that we should be doing as web developers, but um, they're just kind of boring and menial. Um, but Grunt makes it easy and actually just kind of makes it fun. You set it up once in the beginning of your project and you're good to go. So that's a little short snippet into Grunt. Check out Chris Coyer's article that I'll have in the notes. Um, also, feel free to check out my GitHub and the Vantage project, which is just my boilerplate, but it has Grunt already, um, these Grunt tasks already loaded into it. All you have to do is run npm install and then hit Grunt in your command line and you'll be good to go. Um, I hope you like this. I will be doing, trying to do some videos about once or twice a week, just little, little things like this to help uh, the workflow for developers. Um, my name is Austin Pion. Once again, I'm a full stack developer. You can check out my website at www.imapioneer.com and just leave comments if you had suggestions or um, if you had questions or anything, any other little workflow type things you would like me to do a video about. Just leave it in the comments and uh, thanks for watching.